the temperature has dropped in Normandy. It's freezing outside, but Ziggy and Taz, Benoit's dog, don't seem to mind. Especially now as Buckley has joined the pack, which means Charlie and Max are back from their Italian adventure, staying with us before heading back to Canada for good. Look who I have here, helping me. Charlie! Again! Oh, hey Zeke! And um, yeah, so just before they leave, They've been cooking for us, and Charlie kindly offered to help me today with some sanding, and oh, it's like the good old days. Now Ella's going to put the star on the tree. Ah. Good job Ella. That's it. Push it on. Push it on. It's a bit wonky. I know you're taking a huge risk to film this being both of us on the scaffolding, but it's an important moment. It's the highlight of the electrical installation of this room. I go with the cable through the molding and I managed to make a hole without really destroying it so I can fix this later. Thank you. And yes. And now I need to get that cable through here. Yeah. Yes, I think. Good. You see that? Yeah. You might ask why is this cable here? I decided not to make a trench everywhere here because it would just be too much work to fix it. So I just keep this cable here. I did it in the other rooms. Once they are painted, you really can't see them. And it allows in the future to change them if needed. This is a beam. It's too complicated. An easy solution. And nobody's going to see it. So nobody knows there's going to be a cable up there except everybody who's watching. People who are watching are my fans. And you guys, you would never betray me, would you? If this breaks inside, that would be a mess. We have a problem. I succeeded. Oh no, I made one mistake. I need to. I don't want to see the cable here, so I need to. Are you using your electrical pliers yes. that you always tell me? Don't touch my electrical pliers. Yes. And now you're using them to chip away at the plaster and make yeah. a trench. Yeah. How come you're allowed to do that? Because I'm the boss. Hey guys, so you might remember Molly, she's been here a little while ago, but if you didn't see her, this is Molly Wilk and she is a patisserie chef from Texas and, and she's living in Versailles, very talented patisserie chef and she's agreed to come and give us a hand because actually for the first time ever we are going to be hosting our first ever Christmas at the so Chateau <laughs> and we're having all the family here so the pressure is on to make an amazing Christmas meal but I'm not really sure what to make for dessert. We're gonna knock it out of the park. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna be making a bouche de noel, so something like super traditional French. Oh my God. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited. And you were just telling me um, off camera a bit about the history of bouche de noel. Yeah, so the bouche de noel, it's been around since 1870. Um, and it used to be a pagan tradition long before that where they would burn a log for the winter solstice 
decorate it with mushrooms, moss, wine, different liqueurs, things like that. Make it really beautiful, yeah. stick it in the chimney and burn it. And it was supposed to be good luck for the year to come. Um, people started getting a little bit bored of that, yeah. and so they started to make it into cakes. And so now, that's amazing. You see the bouche de Noël, or like the Yule cake, and they're all like decorated with mushrooms as well, and different things like that. So I love that. that. I, I love, love that tradition. Bouche, 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 de Noël. Because I say bouche, yeah. like bouche. Yeah. So what either is... you're saying. <laughs> Christmas log or Christmas mouth. It's turning Lavish. into like a, a pastry class slash French, French class. <laughs> For our cake, we yeah. have three different parts. Seriously? We cannot have Ziggy in the room when we're baking and <laughs> filming. He's just like... Well, I'm surprised like he's not even interested in like the good smelling stuff over here. Yeah. Anyway, he's gonna be like bum 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 all the time. Or we have like, it's like the... All right, so for our ganache, it's very easy. Yeah. We have our chocolate. Okay. Okay. Is this so, just black chocolate? Yeah, so I'm using like bittersweet, dark chocolate. That one's really good. It kind of balances out mm -hmm. with like the sweetness of the cake. Yeah. And then to make a ganache, it is just two ingredients. So yeah. it is chocolate and cream. So we're going to heat up our cream. Yeah. And then we're going to add it to our chocolate and mix it together and make this thick, gorgeous chocolate That's sauce. Nice. So, so if you have it like in little pieces, it's going to yeah. melt a lot better. Good tip. We like good tips. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna add our cream in here and it's gonna melt all of our chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about ASMR ah, yes, and yes. we were saying that you could do like, yeah, cooking. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're ready to go very close to the microphone. That was beautiful. Okay, so we waited 30 seconds for the chocolate to start to melt. If you whisk too soon, then it's gonna cool the whole mixture. Okay, look at it. Wait, oh. here, Anna, you do the mixing. Should I have a go? Oh yeah, oh yeah, do it. Oh wow. Ooh, and see, it just starts oh. to come together. Yeah. Everything starts to melt, and we've got this gorgeous chocolate sauce. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grease our pan, yeah. and then we're gonna put our parchment paper across it yeah. so that's easy to lift out. Okay. That's oh, yeah, okay. That's, good. that's all right. So we need three eggs. Yep. Yeah. You've probably got a better technique. Maybe you so show me. I, What's your technique? Okay, so I do it on a flat surface. Okay. And then that way it doesn't indent as much. Yep. And you get a little bit less shell in there. Okay. Okay. Boink. I'm gonna use one egg yolk as well. So this is gonna add some added richness to it. Okay, so it's three okay. eggs and just one and egg One egg yolk. yolk, yeah, exactly. And then I'm also gonna have you melt that butter right there too. Which one here, this one? That oh, one that right one? there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we need another. So just pan. a tiny bit of butter, because all French recipes include lots of butter. Yeah. We are in Normandy, <laughs> and we love butter in Normandy. Exactly. So. so we're adding the whole eggs in there, plus the egg yolks and the sugar, all at once, and we're gonna whip it up. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go to if you have a KitchenAid, it's about a six, and we're just gonna give it some time. So we'll just, just hang watch. out. Yeah. If I turned up the speed to like eight, 10 maximum speed, it would go faster, but yeah. we're gonna have really, really, really big bubbles. And the problem with big bubbles is that they float to the top, they pop, and then you're gonna have a really flat cake. Oh no. And that's really sad. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. And do you see how it's like hanging out on the top yeah. there? Yeah. That looks really nice. We're gonna sieve in our flour. Um, when we add our flour, we wanna aim for the center, okay? If we get it on the sides, it gets a little bit clumpy. Okay. So you wanna be really delicate with this because we just beat in a lot of air into our okay. eggs. Great, and then once you have just a couple of like flour trails left, like we're that. gonna stop, yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that all and we're gonna spread it out. Yeah. And you see like we're working pretty fast and the reason being is that we don't want those eggs to deflate on okay. us. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our offset spatula mm -hmm. into the sides, and then this is ready for the oven. Okay. All right, let's do it. In we go.
merci. Oui. Oh, c'est beau. Maintenant, on peut fermer les fenêtres. Là, là, regarde. Hey. T'as vu, sans forcer. Waouh. Tout neuf, tout beau. Tout beau, tout neuf. Regarde. Oui. Waouh. Waouh. Ah, c'est très bien ça. T'as vu un peu Ouais. Est-ce que tu as expliqué aux spectateurs non, comment mais... ça se passe enfin... Non, mais quand je vois cette tenue-là, ça me fait mal au ventre. Bah, c'est pour ça que je peux qu'être travailler avec un pantalon noir. C'est là mon cas. C'est impossible de travailler avec des black trousers, unfortunately today. I can't work. I tried it, but they, they get really dirty. And then I'm getting told off by Anna. C'est inadmissible. C'est pas la peine de mettre les chaussures de sécurité pour votre rapport. Pour être comme ça. Ouais, je vais te... Ouais. C'est tout ce que j'ai. I don't have any. That's the only shoes I have right now. All right, so here we go. Ella, are you going to stay to help us or are you just popping in? Do you want to help? Do you going to help us? Mm. And we're just going to mix it until it's nice and soft. All right, Ella, watch for 240. Yeah. Look here. Yep. We're looking. Oh, <gasps> two, stop! Two, stop. Two, Perfect! <laughs> Ella, what's the best bit about baking? Eating it. Eating it. <laughs> I agree. So this is made by toasting hazelnuts and almonds, or like a mixture of the two. Kind of you can do more hazelnuts or more almonds, like depending on your taste. And you're toasting them, roasting them, which is going to bring out the natural oils in them. And then I made a caramel separate, let it cool, and then I combined the two in a mixer. And you're just mixing it up, grinding it to make essentially a caramel nut butter. And it is so good. It is pretty good. <laughs> Tasted probably in this package. Wait, who is this? Uh, <laughs> We're gonna put that all across the top. Okay. And we're just gonna spread it out. And then Francois and I have decided we're gonna yeah. add more praline on top. Oh, okay. That's oh, yeah. A good plan. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm thinking we just mm. drizzle. That sounds good. I think that sounds great. The more the better of this, yeah. honestly. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> and so once you have it started, now you're gonna use the parchment paper. Okay. And this is why it's really helpful to have it connected there. Okay. And we're just gonna slowly roll, okay? And you can pull up the parchment paper to help you out with the roll there. And then, Anna, I'm gonna have you put the plate right there. Okay. Yep. Because once you get too like, like close, to oh yeah, well actually what I do is once you're like yeah. really close to the end, yeah. then you pick everything up, so I'm going to pick this all up, and then finish the roll on the plate, there wow. we go, and then we pull away <gasps> the paper. So we have a serrated bread knife here, Somebody has and to these, are, these are scraps that Ella. I think Ella might she might eat them. But I'm, just <laughs> I'm like surprised she didn't come rushing in here. <laughs> oh, oh. So we're gonna take our chocolate ganache and we're gonna put it on our cake. Mm -hmm. We're gonna first start by just icing it. So you can see it's like perfect consistency. Yeah. Essentially, it has cooled enough to where it's gonna hold its shape and um, it's gonna hold some lines. We're gonna make it look like a log, which will be really I fun. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> a nice amount on top there. Yes. I'm gonna spread this out. Yeah. Exactly. Right to the end? Yep, right to the end. Perfect. Oh, this is very satisfying. It's nice, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go super classic. Yes. Okay, so we have some holly. Yeah, picked from the, fresh from the garden. Picked fresh from the garden. We're gonna put that on top. This is not edible, but. We're gonna use decorating. it just for decorating. Yeah. And then to simulate like the holly berries, yeah. I figured like maybe a couple of raspberries. I love that idea. So we're gonna put a couple of raspberries right on top. That looks so cute. And that's super cute. And we're gonna go straight over the top. Oh, that looks so pretty. <laughs> so cute, look at that. Wow, beautiful, look, look at that. Look how gorgeous. Everybody's gonna be very impressed when they see this because yeah, I, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Guys, we now have nine days till Christmas. And I have to admit that I haven't done very much. Not because I'm lazy, but because we've been super busy with the launch of the candles and taking pictures, getting the website set up, taking care of the kids, sorting out stuff for Christmas. You know, you know how it is. December is a little bit crazy. And 
it's been frustrating because I want to just crack on with this. I want to get it finished. And we have family, well, actually we have Philip's mum arriving tonight. So she's going to see it like this. Uh, we have my family arriving in, I think, five days. So will it get done? I think so. I'm, I'm staying positive. I thought I would show you um, how I do my corking. So as you can see right here, I've got a very old door. This is probably like 240 years old and it has got this massive cracks here that need filling. Um, it's pretty simple, but hopefully this is a tip that if any of you guys out there are doing some painting and decorating, you can use it. So yeah, you basically just have to fill in the crack using the mastic like this, like this. And then what I used to do, I used to always just use my finger and you know, and then it gets all over your fingers, it's really sticky, and also you don't have a really nice finish. But basically, you can use this paintbrush here, and here you go, you just wipe it over the, t the surface like this, and then you have a really nice, smooth surface for painting afterwards. The paintbrush over it like this. Oh, hey! Oh, Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm just filming. It's very sunny though. I have some news for you. Yeah. And I'm sure our followers <laughs> are super excited to hear that. Yeah. We have brand new internet connection. It's still a kind of mobile phone 4G connection in the attic. Yeah. And you swapped the provider with a new provider. It's illimited. It's super fast. It works. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And for only 13 euros a month with the promo code HTRAC. No. No, no sorry. I'm, I'm so used now to this other time. Philip, but, shut uh, up. No, no, no. But you know what? It makes a huge difference for us. Yeah. Because it does. It, it takes so long for us to upload videos. So many times I need to take the car. I needed to take the car. Go somewhere, park someone on the side of the road, and then open my computer and upload the videos near, near an antenna. And then people walk by and look at me strange. And, and if they have kids, they will like, take them away and say, don't look at the man. Look at the crazy weirdo. It's creepy, you know, if you have a car somewhere on the side and you're on the computer. Anyway, this should be now a problem of the past. Which also means that maybe I'll be able to upload more videos. No. No? I, I, I mean, go for it, but yeah. maybe you want to collaborate with Ziggy. Because I, need to, I yeah. need to spend some time doing some decorating. Can I give you some tips? No. Is this fresh? Can Actually, you, you know what? No, you no. know, yes, it is fresh. But you know what you could do? You could help film. Because I just wanted to do a close-up shot of this. I just wanted to show how I do my corking. Here you go. Just see how, just filling that big massive crack this is really satisfying actually because some painter once showed me this and i thought wow that is changing my life when is you this come soap or what's the liquid no it's just water oh. but it does make such a difference when you come to actually doing your top coat of paint because now it's going to dry and it's going to be so smooth and it's just going to you're not going to even notice that it's filled <laughs> And those, those cracks here are just too big for the corking, so I've mixed myself some wood filler, which is kind of in a powder, and now I'm going to use that to do all of the filling of the massive holes. I see you've taken over. I was having a go, but I got a bit frustrated, so <laughs> then you stepped in. Good teamwork, huh? We both have our strengths, and definitely plastering is not mine. Happy that you went and got changed, because you wanted to try and do it in your best jeans. And I was told off. Look what arrived! Oh. So it's the moment of truth. Did we go safe and go green, or did Philip manage to convince me otherwise? Ta-da! Ta -da. To be precise, you said, if I don't like it, then you're gonna repaint, right? That's correct, that's correct, I'm confident. Shall we get painting? Shall we have a look what it looks like? I mean, I'm gonna start with the primer, so it's not gonna be the final color, but it's going to be exciting to put some colour on the wall. This is the colour. I love it. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's 
going to be really, really nice. So, but you start with a primer, don't you? Yeah, this is the primer, a tinted primer. So it's not the exact color. Okay. So then hopefully... This is a tail of a dog. <laughs> oh, Ziggy. It's also a nice color, the tinted primer. Ziggy, what is it? Come here. Zig, what do you think? Is it a nice color? Yeah? You approve? Thank you. Okay, so Ziggy likes it. I got a high five from Ziggy. This is the tinted primer, by the way, guys. This is not the finished color, but I'm loving it. I hope we didn't make a huge mistake because, yeah, I don't have time for that. All right, yeah, okay. I love you too. Down, 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 down. Go on, sit down, sit down, sit down. I think I'm gonna have my work cut out for me this week because I have to finish painting this entire room in the next five days plus do all my Christmas shopping, wrapping, decorating the house. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to tune in next week to figure out whether we make it or not. Wish us luck. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.